All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash, Level Am Yom. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who teach them one these last days, and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. I want to give a strong Shalom to the occupant of the four corners of the earth, pushing forward in truth and sincerity, uh, making a call and an election sure. And I'm going to give a humble salutation to the whole for the elect, tuning in on the four corners of the earth, wherever your habitation may be at. All right, this is Brother Mashal, come back at you with a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. I want to say to Wadi Yahab Bashim Hashai for giving me the spirit and having the mercy for allowing me to teach the sheep. And um, today I want to I was I want to go into um, the day of the, the day of Yahab Bashim Hashai, man. All right, because I was I was listening to the uh, you know um, Apostle Gabar's uh, lesson yesterday. I think he posted it yesterday or the day before yesterday, and uh, kind of gave me the inspiration to do this lesson because he kind of touched on the topic. But uh, you know I want to put, pull some precepts out and uh, you know. Uh, you know, um, really dive into it. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of people, you know, uh, looking forward to the day of the Lord, you know, but in actuality, real quick, um, they expecting this guy to come. All right, they expecting some, uh, this guy to fall out, come out the sky, handing out lollipops and, and, uh, you know, playing double dutch and all this other stuff with you to save everybody. But that's not the case, man. That's not the doctrine of the Bible. All right. This is the, this is the, the, uh, <clears throat> the, the Christian rhetoric. All right. That, that's, that's, that's being spewed, uh, to our people, man. All right. So the scripture say, man, that woe, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, man. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, uh, get the, the precepts to understand why. Because this is not, this deity all right, it's not coming out of the, out of the heavens, man. Okay. So let's get to it, man. Let me get this off the screen, man, because it's vexing. All right, we're gonna get the, the scripture real quick. Um, in Amos uh, five, Amos five and verse eighteen. All right, it says, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord." All right, you how about you shy? Okay, woe meaning destruction, man, death. Okay. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh Bashim Yashai is darkness and not light. All right, because when Yahweh Bashim Yashai comes back, it's gonna be a, a a a lot of a lot of killing, man. All right, you know when when uh you know in the, in the Christian church they talk, it you know they they teach you about you know the quote unquote uh, rapture. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's, you know, getting beamed up and it's the holy angels are going to be playing music while, you know, while uh, you getting, you know, getting beamed up. And it, that's not, that's not the, the doctrine of the scriptures, man. Okay. You how about you, is coming back in the midst of chaos. All right. So this day, the day of you, how about you, is darkness and not light. Okay. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. All right. So this is a dark saying. Is uh, this is a dark saying uh, for you know you're not going to escape your judgment. Okay. When you how about when you how about your shot comes back, it's, it's it's judgment day, man. And you're not going to be able to flee from the judgment that 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 uh, that's that's already written for you. All right. Or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall. See. So when you flee from this lion and and uh, and. and and you flee from this bear, you know what I'm saying? Now you find a house, you go into a house, and you lean your hand on the wall because you're tired as hell, you're breathing hard, you know what I'm saying? You you, you think you got away from uh, from uh, from your judgment, and what happened? A, and a serpent bit him, all right? So it's, that's why it's a, it's a, it's, you're going to escape your, you're not going to be able to escape your judgment, man, okay? And people going and people think that it's going to be a, a big, you know, celebration, a big party when you, when, when your Howard shot comes back, but that's that that's the the the, the dogma of, of Jesus Christ, man. All right, Jesus Christ is is uh is um you know being portrayed as coming back, you know what I'm saying, and and he's gonna pick, play pickup basketball with you when he comes back, and you know what I'm saying, he's gonna be wearing Air Jordans and all this. No, man. All right, your Howard Bosch, your Howard shot is coming back. To, to uh, and and bring a darkness, man, a day of death, man, a gloominess. All right. 
uh, Amos 5 and 20, shall not the day of Yahweh Bashmashah be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. All right. So this is why the, uh, the, the, the churches have it wrong, man. It's going to be a lot of uh, pain, a lot of death, a lot of, um, um, you know, a lot of, uh, unti uh, you know, uh, a lot of mourning, man. Okay? So let's go to uh, uh, Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 1. And verse 14, it says, The great day of the Lord is near, man. It is near and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of Yahweh Bashimashai, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly, man. All right, so all, so all the the mighty man of, of, of this of this uh, world, of this uh, kingdom is gonna cry bitterly, man. Okay, and the mighty man of this of this world is, is your entertainers, you know, uh, your, your ones that are exalted, you know, what I'm saying the one that the ones that people idolize, because you're not gonna be able to, to uh, buy buy uh, pay off your how about you shaman. All right, so the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. All right, so this the day is near, man. And hasteth greatly, man. All right, this is why this is why uh, Paul said in Romans thirteen that um, <clears throat> uh, it's now it is high time to break out of sleep because our salvation is nearer than what, what, what we believe. Okay, but why? Because the, the day of the Lord is near, man, and it hasteth greatly. Okay. Verse 15, that day is a day of wrath. All right, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. All right, so it's not going to be, you know, um, you know, uh, Jesus Christ coming out of the sky with a, with a rainbow and he's holding a rainbow flag and he's going to, you know, uh, support the, the LGBTQ community. No, man. It's going to be a day of wrath, man. It's going to be a day of, of, of anguish because people had a wrong idea of what uh, what's going to happen when the Messiah returns. All right? A day of, of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. All right? And these fenced cities are the, uh, the, the places where they're, uh, you know, guarded. All right? And places like... Um, Places like uh, America. America is going to be a, a burnt mountain, man. Okay? But the, what is a fenced city? A, a protected city, man. All right? By these nuclear... Uh, I mean, by their nuclear capabilities, their, their military. Okay? And these, uh, you know, and financial uh, cities, that's, that's, that's powerful. So cities like, uh, you know, um, America, China, uh, Russia, North Korea... You know, that's that that's that's the 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 fence cities, man, the well defended cities and against the high towers and the high towers are, are uh, is a metaphor for um, uh, when you have a high tower, you, you're able to see the uh, you're able to, to see, see farther to, to the, uh, better defend yourself from uh, from from a, a oncoming attack. All right. So now these high towers are going to be brought low, man. These fence cities aren't going to be able to defend themselves. All right. There's no, there's no technology that you're, that you're going to be able to, to have to defend against Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Okay. It says, verse 17, and I will bring distresses, distresses upon men that they shall walk like blind men. All right. So they're going to be walking uh, without, without no direction, man, because they're going to be confused. It's going to be confusion. All right. It says, because they have sinned against the Yahweh Bashim Yashai, their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. So it's going to be a lot of dead bodies, man, rolling on the side. That's why the scriptures say that 10,000 in, in, in the book of uh, Psalms, that 10,000 shall fall on thy right side, but, no, but shall no uh, torment touch thee. All right. So the men of Yahweh Bashim Yashai and in the, in the, in the, in the, in the righteous one third who the uh, Yahweh Bashim Yashai will have mercy on, will be able to go, uh, will be able to escape this, man. Okay? Through their faith and their works. Alright? Verse 18. 
It says, neither, neither, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh Bashimashah's wrath. All right. So I had did this lesson uh, yesterday uh, about this. All right. So the, the mighty man, where'd it go? Um, the mighty men are the, the men that 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 are uh, exalted, man. The ones that have the money. You know, uh, you know your, your, your sports superstars, you know, um, your actors, your enter, uh, entertainers. Those are the, the mighty men, man. Okay? And even, you know, even if, if, if you know, uh, your business moguls, those are the mighty men because why? Because they've been... They've they've been saving up money to to uh, and all this other stuff, but it's not really it's that that's not going to save them in the day of Yahweh Bashim is coming, man. All right, it says, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. All right, for he shall even make a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land. All right, it's going to be a speedy speedy riddance, man, in one hour, like it says in Revelation eighteen. Okay, but the whole land shall, is going to be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. All right, and why is why is Yahweh jealous? Because we are the the wife of Yahweh Okay, we are uh, we we've been espoused to to uh, Yahweh man. Okay, but we've been playing the harlot, and the Most High is jealous, man. All right, you be you be jealous if uh. You know, you gave you you do you, you told uh you know your children, you know uh all right well I want you guys to I want you guys to do this, you know what I'm saying that way you can live, right? And then all of a sudden they get older, you know they get they, now they get on their own, you know what I'm saying 18, 19, 20, whatever, you know what I'm saying now they forgot everything that you taught them. Now they out here, you know, saying, uh, uh, fulfilling the lust of the flesh, man. Yeah, you're going to get jealous, man. Yeah, you're going to get angry. Because you told you told the children to do something, they they, they blatantly diso disobeyed you, man. Okay? So this is why the, the, the Most High has a, has a uh, problem problem with the, with, with the land, man. Um, let's go to Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66 and uh, verse 15, for behold, Yahweh Bashimashah will come with fire. All right. So, so when, when, when the Messiah, when, when Yahweh tells Yahweh Shai, hey man, it's time. What's going to happen? Yahweh Shai is coming with fire, man. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger and with fear and with, uh, with, with fury and his rebukes with flames of fire. So this is what's happening when Yahweh Shah comes back, man, the Messiah. Alright? He's gonna be angry, man. And his rebuke are gonna be, are gonna be with flames of fire, man. Alright? Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will Yahweh Bashimashah plead with all flesh. And what? And the slain of Yahweh Bashimashah shall be many. Okay? It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of people that perish, man. This is what's happening when Yahweh Shah comes back, man. All right, and this is the point where, um, you know, we think, or, you know, we've been taught something in the church when we're coming up, but in actuality, this is what the, the, the scriptures tell a, a completely different narrative, man. All right, so this is why we don't we don't listen to, uh, you know, um. You know you, you, uh, the churches anymore, man. Because the church is, is 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 full of BS, man. All right, and 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 they're, and they're looking to 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 uh, 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 fatten their pockets. All right, Ezekiel. Uh, Thirty and let's start. Let's get to the point in verse uh, verse three. All right. It says, for the day is near, even the day of Yahweh Bashimashah is near, a cloudy day, all right? And it shall be uh, the time of the heathen, okay? And this is why the, the heathen are going to get judged, 
Because in uh, Revelation 17, it says that that Yahweh is coming in uh in to, uh in, in, in righteous righteousness, do if he uh judge and make war. Okay? And the heathen have no, have no idea what righteousness righteousness is. All right, and two thirds of our people are considered heathen because they've taken that they've taken on the mindset and the customs of the heathen, so they're going to get judged right along with them. Now, and those are the two thirds that are talked about in Zephaniah or, or Zechariah thirteen. Okay, it says, "In the sword, right, the sword shall come upon Egypt, and we are we are in spiritual Egypt right now." Okay, and the great pain shall uh, and a great and great pain shall be in Ethiopia. When the slain shall fall in Egypt, and they shall take away her multitude, and her foundations shall be broken down. All right. Now, when you go to, uh, you know, let's go to it real quick. Um, Malachi chapter one. And four, it says, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Okay, and this is where when Esau uh, was loose out of his out of his uh, prison, man, for a thousand years. All right, it says so. He's he's returned and built the desolate places, meaning he's built, man. He's taking over the whole the whole world, man. All right, it says, "Thus saith you, how about you, my shy of hosts? They shall build, but I will throw down." All right, so they're gonna build all this stuff up, but you, how about you, my shy, is gonna throw it down via the, the nuclear missiles. All right, via the chariots, okay, and via uh, the, the the Israelites, man, okay, because in Jeremiah, uh, I think it's Jeremiah fifty, it's either fifty or fifty one, it talks about uh, that 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 we are the Most High's battle axes and weapons of war, okay. It says, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people uh, against whom the Lord have in the nation forever. Okay, so they're going to build, but Yahweh Bashim is going to throw down, man, by destroying this place. Okay, and this is what's happening. This is what's going to happen when Yahweh Shai comes back. He's going to throw down, man. Yahweh Shai said, man, it's gonna, not going to be uh, one stone left unturned. All right. Um, let's go to uh, Revelation 6. Revelation 6 and verse uh, 12. Uh, it says, and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. All right. So these are this is why Yahweh Shai said, uh, told the Pharisees that you can they, they can discern. Uh, what's that he said? He said uh, you can discern the the, the, the times, but can't observe that the. Let me, you know, let me get it real quick. Um, Uh, discern uh, let me see okay, Matthew uh, 16 and 3 it says and in the morning it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering Oh, you hypocrites! You can discern the face of the sky, but you can, but you can, uh, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? You see, so these are the signs of the times. Okay, these are the things that we're looking for. All right, it says verse thirteen. It says, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs. When she is shaken of a mighty wind, and these stars is a dark sand for the nuclear missiles. All right, falling from heaven, meaning falling from out of the sky, fell into the earth, and when she is shaken of a a, a mighty wind. Now, when we go to uh, uh, Jeremiah, um, what is that? Jeremiah, I think it's fifty. 51 maybe let me see i don't think it is yeah kind of okay all praise 
Dawadi Habashi Mashah Bashim Krakadash. Jeremiah 51. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahab Bashim Mashah, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon. All right, and we're we're in uh, Babylon right now. Okay, we're in the uh, Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. The scripture call it the daughter of Babylon. All right, it says, and against them that dwell in the midst of them and that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Okay, so this is this is the destroying wind. All right, this is the the nuclear missiles. All right, coming down, and when it hits the ground, meaning the earth. She uh, is going to create a a, 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 a a wind, a destroying wind. Okay, that mushroom cloud. All right, and at the bottom, as a, as that mushroom cloud goes up, the uh, the impact from the missile is going to create a destroying wind. This is like it did in uh, what's that Terminator? I think it's Terminator Two. I think it is, where it's like a powerful wind. All right, that's that destroying wind. Okay. It says, um, verse 14, and heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. All right. And the heaven is meaning, uh, this rulership. Okay. And it's going to depart as a scroll. So that's what, that's that mushroom cloud. You know, let me get a, a, a picture of a nuclear missile. So we can, uh. Kind of, see, okay, so now we have the mushroom cloud. It's gonna this, this see this part, this little part right here looks like a, a scroll. All right, when you roll up when you roll up a piece of paper, this is the scroll right here. All right, and right here at the bottom is that destroying wind. So that's the impact of a nuclear missile falling from from the heaven, or I mean, it falling from the sky. All right, this is this is that destroying wind that's gonna come and and uh and 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 knock off everything, man. All right, let's see if. Yeah, just like what that happened in um, uh, in, in Beirut. All right, you had that explosion, and then all of a sudden you had that that destroying wind that that, that pretty much destroyed everything, man. All right. So it says, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. Every mountain and island were moved out of their place. All right. It says, and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves. In the dens and and in the rocks of the mountains, okay. And it says, and these are the the uh, the um the uh, the elites, man. All right, and every bond man and every free man. All right. So it don't matter who uh, who you are. You're gonna be gonna look to hide yourselves. All right. It says it says to the mountains and and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. All right. The, the, that that great and terrible day, man. All right. So this is gonna happen. They, they're gonna they're gonna hide, man. That they're, they're gonna try to escape that that uh, that judgment. All right. It says, uh, for the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? All right. So it's not gonna be uh, some pretty, uh, you know, uh, uh, sunny day, man. All right, it's gonna be a, a a day of anguish, man, and suffering. Uh, Isaiah five and verse eighteen, it says, "Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity, and sin as it were with a cart rope." All right, because we we're supposed to be spotless in the day of uh of the day of Yahweh Shemashah's wrath, man. So this is what this mercy is, and this uh grace period is for. All right. When you read Titus, it tell uh, is it? I think it's Titus. Uh, Titus chapter two. It talks. About, it, it. You know what? Let's let's get it real quick. Make sure. Um, yeah, kind of. Titus two and eleven. For the grace of the heavenly Father that bring us salvation have appeared to all men. All right, all men of who? Of all men of Israel. It says, teaching us that denying, see, this grace period is to teach us to deny ungodliness and worldliness, 
that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. And see, look, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great power in our Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right. So we're, we're, this is that grace period that we can, uh, when 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 that day comes, we will be will be blameless, man. All right. That we we showing you how much that we're actually trying to, uh, you know, to to deny these things, man. Denying ungodliness, man, and worldly lust. Okay. That we're doing all these things in this present world, man, in this present world rulership. All right. So now this is why, you know, it says woe unto them, destruction to them that draw iniquity, and iniquity is sin upon sin. It's piling sin upon sin, man. All right. You know, eating a, eating a pork chop sandwich and then getting drunk. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, you know, I mean, just adding sin upon sin. All right. It says uh, that say, let see, and these people, that's why you're not supposed to desire the day of the Lord, because we're all supposed to be trying to uh, make sure that we're blameless, man. All right. And we've, we and we're given a, 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 a good amount of rope. For this grace period, all right. Now, of course, you get judged, you know, but not how it was with the law. We're, we all get judged, all right. But we still not supposed to just do whatever we want to do, all right. So these people are that that want these Christians. I mean, anybody, man, really, you know, what I'm saying that desire, desire the day of the Lord, man. They don't. They're not. They're not prepared for what's coming, all right. So these people that draw iniquity with cords of vanity and sin that, as it were a cart rope. That say, let him make speed and hasten his work that we may see it. See, they're, they're desiring the day of Yahweh Mashiach, man. Let the counsel of the Holy One of Yasharala draw nigh and come that we may know it. All right. So this is the problem. People want his, people can't, can't wait for good old Jesus Christ to come out of the sky, but they don't even know what the hell they're they talking about, man. They don't even know what's coming. All right. And, and, and Jesus Christ is not coming, man. It's going to be a pissed off uh, so-called black man, man. All right. Um, do I got anything else? Uh, let's go to Psalms uh, 110. And verse uh, five, it says, the Lord at thy right hand, all right, shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. All right. So the Lord at the right hand is talking about Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai sits on the right hand of the father. Okay. The, the right hand is, is the righteous side. So the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. Okay, why is the scripture always talk about wrath when the, when the Messiah is coming back, man? All right, because that's what it is. Verse six: He shall judge among the heathen. He what? He shall fill the places with dead bodies. The same, like the same thing it says in Isaiah sixty-six. Okay, he shall wound the heads over many countries. That means that's why Yahweh in the scripture says in, in Revelation. That he uh, that he uh, he has a, a a head with many crowns, meaning he's going to conquer, you know, uh, um, all of these nations, man. He shall wound the heads over many countries. All right, and that's what Yahweh Shai is coming to do. All right, let's go to Luke uh, twenty-one. And let's go to verse. Uh, 33, it says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Okay, and why won't heaven and earth shall pass away? Why? Because this heaven, this heaven is going to, uh, is going to, is going to pass away. This rulership is going to pass away, right? But my word shall not pass away. Why is that? Because once this, once this rulership is taken out, Yahweh Bashim Asha will establish the new covenant. Okay, so we're always going to keep the law. All right, and there's no, you know, do, doing without will, man. All right, 
It says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. So what? And so that day come upon you unawares. That day is Yahweh Bashi Mashah, man, because Yahweh Shah says that he's coming like as a thief in the night, man. All right, he's coming like a thief in the night, so we don't know when he's coming back. So this is why he's tell he's telling us, man, don't be overcharged with surfing it. Now I don't even know what that word surfing it is, but let's take a look at it. Strong's G twenty eight ninety seven, Kripale, Kripale, Thayer's lexicon related entry, Kripale, Kripale. All right, it says the giddiness and headache caused by drinking wine to the excess, man. So, hey, what does Christian say? Don't don't be a drunkard, man. Okay, because you're not gonna be a, you're not you're not gonna know what's 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 uh what's going on. All right, so you don't want to be overcharged with 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 uh with being uh. Uh, and drinking the access of wine and being in, in drunkenness, all right? And it says, in the cares of life, so that they come upon you unawares, man. All right, so that's what's, that's what's going to happen. If you don't, if you know, if, we, if, we, if we're not watchful, man, if we're not using this grace period to keep ourselves right. If you're not using this grace period to keep, uh, keep yourselves right, this is what, this is what you're going to be doing, man. Okay? In the cares of life, you have what I said, that, that, um, it's going to be like the days of Noah. All right. Marrying and drinking and giving a marriage. You know what I'm saying? You know, being married. All that stuff, man. That's the character of his life. So now we understand what's what's coming. Okay. It says, verse 35, For as a snare, as a trap, shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. All right. So this is why, why, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, man, because you don't know what's coming. All right, it says, watch ye therefore. See, that's why you how I said, hey man, you, you can discern the signs of the, the, the signs of the, uh, the the you know the sky, but you can't discern the signs of the times, man. So it's supposed to watch. All right, these these uh, prophecies are fulfilling, man. All right, and right before you how I said in Matthew twenty four that before before all of that, that, that this this is what's going to happen, man. Before he comes back, this is everything that that that's happening on Earth right now. Is is uh is right is 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 being played out right before our eyes, man. All right, it says and pray always, man. Always uh, uh pray and give supplication, give thanks. Um. You know because praying is part of the works. All right, it says and pray always that that what that ye may be accounted worthy, see worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. All right, and to stand before the Son of Man, and the Son of Man is Jehovah Shai. Okay, so all these things are going to come to pass, man. The death, the destruction, the uh, you know um, nuclear missiles, World War Three, all this is going to come to pass, man. So what? What we're going to do? We're going to watch for these things, okay? And we're going to what? And pray always, always ask to to endure to the end, man. Always ask to uh, you know um. Make sure your, your family's good. You know what I'm saying? Always pray to make sure that the elect is good. May, pray that you're that you're worthy of, of uh to escape all these things that shall come to pass, man. Alright, the day the day of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Alright. So um with that, most high wellness lesson was edifying. Alright. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhahakwadash, Blah Walam Yam. The honor to the elders and the apostle of Great Millstone. I want to say, Kramya Sharala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.